My name is uh, Mohammed Khan. Um, I'm a geriatric psychiatry fellow. <clears throat> what we have here today is a collaborative care telephone based uh, service that was initially developed about 10 years ago to help deliver, uh, deliver mental health services like depression care and dementia care to elderly patients living in Pennsylvania. Um, it's now being used with the added component of managing elderly patients who are on high doses of prescription opioids. Um, and by high, that would be anything greater than or equal to 120 morphine equivalent doses. The objective here is to measure levels of patient participation and patient engagement, <coughs> um, and also to, de to determine um, the extent or the degree of uh, dose reductions achieved. So the Department of Aging identified 71 patients from their pharmacy benefits program and referred them for this, for this study. Of the 71 patients, 49 of them um, participated in this program and had baseline evaluations um, using the, the um, skills outlined in the table above. Of these um, 49 patients, 25 of them engaged in the program and were considered engaged after having at least two follow-up phone contacts. Um, they were followed over the course of 12 weeks and had any of the interventions listed here, um, like behavioral pain management, uh, medication, education, reinforcing positive health behaviors, etc., all of which to achieve um, dose reductions. Um, so 21 of these patients did achieve uh, dose reductions, with nine of them achieving reductions greater than 20%, and 12 of them achieving reductions less than 20%. Anything greater than 20% were considered a significant dose reduction. So overall, we see 84% of these patients achieved dose reductions with 36% of them achieving a significant dose reduction. So in conclusion, we see it is possible to adapt an existing collaborative care service to help manage elderly patients who are on high doses of prescription opioids and achieve significant dose reductions.